YouTube, what's going on guys? What I'm gonna be doing today, I'm gonna be demonstrating on how to do a taper from home. I'm gonna be doing two versions of this taper. One, I'm gonna assume that you guys only have a clipper with the guards and a comb. And then I'm gonna demonstrate another version of this taper with the assumption that you guys have a trimmer, a shaver, a straight razor, and the clippers so then i can you know please two people at once with this video so you guys want to go ahead and stick around i'm going to be showing you guys how to do the full haircut so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my setup really quick of what i have so this is my setup really quick a straight razor i have my comb i have my wall magic clip my absolute hitters and a shaver with all the guards so the guards that you guys will need is a 0.5 guard then the one guard, then the 1.5 guard, then the two guard, and then the three guard. So some of you guys might not have the 1.5 guard or the half guard, you guys need to get it because you guys won't be able to really complete your whole taper without these two guards right here. So with the assumption that you guys don't have the trimmer or the shaver, all you guys will need is really a clipper with a lever your your guards and the comb and the straight razor if you don't have a straight razor uh, the razors you use to shave you know the just the regular razor works so if you once you guys have this setup you guys will be able to get started on doing your taper the next thing you guys are going to need is you guys are going to need a mirror so if you guys don't have a self self-cut system like i do from home all you guys will really need is just your bathroom mirror and another handheld mirror. So you guys need two mirrors. You guys can go ahead and use my code David10 for a discount with self cut system. If you guys can't afford it, just go the easy way out and just get a handheld mirror for $5 on Amazon. It's the same thing. So if you guys are gonna buy on Amazon your setup for clippers to cut your hair from home, make sure that you guys order a pair of a half guard and a 1.5 guard with whatever cheap uh, whatever cheap clippers you guys decide to buy make sure it's wall because these are wall guards so make sure that your brand matches the brand of your guards matches the the brand of the clippers that you buy so the way you use your mirror if you don't have the a three-way sided mirror you have to use this mirror as a guide with the, with the mirror from the back so this is gonna be your guide the whole way through but since I have my mirror I'm gonna go ahead and use this just so it can be easier on me but if you guys don't have the three-way sided mirror fuck sorry but you know you just you just gotta work with what you got because you know we want to stay fresh during these tough times guys so right now I'm gonna be doing the taper just with my my clipper and the guards assuming that you guys don't have one the the trimmer or the electrical shaver so this is just the basic steps right now I'm gonna go ahead and start with my three guard because I'm gonna start doing the base of my taper. So depending on the side length of your hair, that's how it's, that's what number that you're gonna have to be using to set your base. So I know that the sides of my hair is probably like a four or a five guard. So I can go ahead and use a three guard. So your situation might be different. So just let me know down in the comment section of what your hair length is on the sides and I can go ahead and help you guys get started with the base of your taper. So step number one, we're just gonna go straight in with our three guard. Go ahead and just kind of clean up the corners, the C cup area, just so it can be kind of clean. Creating the base with the three guard. So we're gonna give ourselves about like two fingers of length because I'm gonna do kind of like a mid, mid low taper. So go ahead and scoop up, scoop up, scoop up. So since I do have a beard, the my beard ends right here at the sideburn area. So I'm gonna go ahead and just mark it so you guys see the difference. So from that area up is my sideburn area, my taper area, and that's what I'm gonna be using to blend. So don't pay attention to anything below this. I'll teach you guys how to blend this part after I'm done blending the taper. So since now we have our base with the three guard, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my two guard now. 
and open up the lever by opening up the lever we're kind of we're moving the blades further apart so it gives it the half so when we close it the blades move together and it and it creates more of a sharper edge on the machine which then it creates the two guard so anytime you put a two guard and you open the lever it creates the two and a half and then when you close it close the lever it creates a two guard so that's why we use the lever because it can we can manipulate the the sizes and the the strength of the machine so just be careful whenever you guys do have it closed because it's sharper the more you open it the less sharper it gets we're gonna go a little bit lower than that base that we just created then we're gonna close it and go a little bit lower now so every time we close it we're going lower and lower we're gonna scoop up so now that we scooped up we're gonna close it and go a little bit time a little bit lower and do the same thing So the first step that we're going to do, we already set our base. So now we're going to set our first guideline with it closed, with the lever closed, with no guard on. So just be very careful when you guys do this step because you guys want to have like a clean, nice, you know, just really soft hand when you guys do this. You guys don't want to set a hard line because it's going to be super hard to blend out. So just, just watch really quick. The C cup area is right here. So we want to go about two fingers above. So this is the start of the taper. We're gonna go two fingers. So then now we're, we're just gonna uh, take the bulk down with our clipper closed. So the next step is that we're going to open up our lever and we're, we're going to set that second guideline one finger above this line right here. So make sure that it's open. This is open. This is closed. Open. And then we're going to go one finger above this line we just created. Flicking out. Just really soft touch. You see I'm, I'm using like a C cup motion. I'm not really going like digging like super deep inside over here and like scraping my skin i'm going straight with the with the blade and going like a c cup motion grab your brush brush things down so we have our first line right here if you guys have gotten to this step you guys are ahead of the game guys so just make sure that you guys have a solid line right here you guys are going to blend out this line so the way that we blend out this line we're going to close our lever keep it closed and this line you guys see right here, hopefully you guys can see it. I'm, I really can't see what, what the hell you guys are seeing, but this is the line right here. So the distance between here and here is the line we made. So we're gonna take off that line by closing our lever and we're gonna go baby tap this line right here. Then slightly open it up a little bit, a tiny bit and go a little bit higher now. Just using the corners. You guys see how I'm using the corners. Go a tiny bit higher now. Tiny bit higher now. And then all the way open until we hit everything again one more time. And then if it if it doesn't erase at that first try, just keep repeating the steps again and again until it erases. I guarantee you, it'll fade away. So you guys notice that we went from three to two to a one and a half now. So we're going down in levels. So we'll open up the lever and we're gonna create a, an, a guideline that's about a finger's length from above this area right here. So we're gonna just scoop out like we've been doing. One finger length, one finger. So scoop out. So the next step is we're going to do the same thing we did to blend out this line. We're going to close it and go slightly bit higher as we keep opening it up until we get to that point where we already set the guideline with the lever open. So just follow along guys. So closed. 
Maybe tap that line you guys see. Open it up a little bit. Open it up a little bit. And then open it up all the way until we're back to the same step that we started with. So now that we've used our one and a half guard, our two guard, and our three guard, now all we got left is the one guard and the half guard. So you guys see how I'm going down in levels. So the next step, we're gonna do the same thing again. We're gonna open up the lever, port our one guard, set a one finger guideline above this line. So then we can go ahead and blend it out and finalize our taper with our 0.5 guard. So just follow along guys, one finger, like we've been saying and scoop out like I've been telling you guys with the corners. You know, just know that it's already blended the one guard into the one and a half guard. You guys won't see it. So you guys just have to just have faith, you know, and um, the next step is we're gonna close our one guard and do the same thing. So where we started, we're gonna close it and baby tap it and then go slightly higher until we get to that step that we started with with the lever open. Open it up a little bit, using the corners. Open it up a little bit. Open it up all the way till we get to the to the to the first step that we were doing. There we go. This is coming along pretty well. The last guard we have left is the 0.5 guard. We're gonna go ahead and close it and just do the close to open lever method that we've been doing. So just follow along guys really quick. It's gonna start from where we started with the one guard right here. And we're just gonna have about half a finger of room to work with. The 0.5 guard is the guard that you have the least amount of room to work with. So make sure that you guys honestly are really careful with this step because as you guys can see, my taper's already almost done and I don't wanna mess it up and go back and have to redo the steps all over again. Just using the corners guys. You guys see right here, I'm using this finger to, to open it up. Open. Blend out the beard. It's the same thing that we did for the taper. It's the same method. So I'm gonna go ahead and run through the steps really fast. So just run the three guard. So my beard length is like about a three guard. So I'm gonna run it over it, giving myself at least three fingers to work with. Three fingers of room to fade in this area that you guys see right here. If you guys have a beard, go ahead and watch this. But if not, just go ahead and just forward the video or you know, whatever, whatever. Just watch if you guys want to watch. So now I'm going to put in my two guard really quick. So we started at three fingers. At that third finger, I'm going to hit it with the two guard. So you guys see right here really quick. So now we're, I'm going to use my one and a half guard. So like you guys see the pattern, three, two, and then now one and a half. I'm going to open it up and go at the, at, at, in the middle of these three fingers right here. So I'm gonna start there. Now close it and hit it at the same spot. Now we're gonna use our one, and a, one guard and open up the lever and we're gonna hit it at the second finger. So we're gonna go two fingers in now. Just go up straight like that. Don't, don't dig into your machine like that. It's not gonna work. You guys have to make sure you put it on your face and you slide up like this. Just let the machine do all the work. Now I'm gonna set my first guideline with the lever open. So just same thing, one finger length of thickness. So we're giving ourselves one finger of room to blend this line out. Open it up more, open it up more until it's almost blended out have to use our last guard which is our one and a half, our 0.5 guard our half guard so do the same thing close to open we have less room to work with like I've been telling you guys so the next step now that I'm gonna now that I use just the basic tools I'm gonna go ahead and use my trimmer and the shavers so I can make this whole look come to life if all you guys had was the clippers then it's all good you guys can see that you guys can still do your haircut but if, if you guys have the extra tools even more power to you Since we did start right here with the taper, I'm gonna give myself like half a finger to work with right here. So right here, starting right here, I'm gonna use my trimmer. 
and I'm not gonna go any higher than this right here. So just hit it right there. Because we don't want to create another line. We're just going to just smooth it out and create a nice clean ball transition right now. I can go ahead and use my shaver right underneath that line. So if you guys do have a straight razor, all you guys want to do, I'm, I'm going to do this really quick. Just pull the skin up 45 degree angle. This is zero and this is 45 degrees right here. 45 degrees, stretch the skin out really quick and just glide down. Just don't be scared, glide down slowly. I'm just going to clean it up really quick. I don't want to make it that crisp because I did do my beard a couple days ago. I'm blowing a bubble just to create pressure on my cheek. Taper. Now we're going to start doing the back taper. I'm going to demonstrate how to line up the back of your neck just with your clipper. Like I said, I'm going to do the clipper breakdown first and then I'm going to do the more advanced version after I'm done with the clipper version. Pull your ear back and you're gonna just wanna use the corners of your clippers. You're gonna wanna use the corners of your clippers, just half the blade when you guys get around the ear. Once you guys get to this side, pull your ear back to the side like this so then you can use the other corner of your blade. Everything's kind of clean now. We're gonna give ourselves a, about four fingers, four fingers of room, four fingers with the three guard. And scoop out. We're gonna go three fingers now with the two guard. Same thing. Close the lever and set a guideline that's one finger thick above. Ignore these hairs right here because these are just my these are just my neck hairs. So we're we're gonna start from right here. We're gonna open it up and set another guideline. So to erase this line we see right here, it's a finger thick. We're gonna close the lever, baby tap the line, open it up a little bit, go higher, open it up a little bit, and go higher. Grab your one guard, open up the lever, one finger thick. We're gonna do the next step really quick. Next step, half guard. We're gonna go close to open. Just take a look real quick as I keep going higher into the, as I keep going higher into the taper, I'm gonna keep opening up the lever. Baby tapping the front with the corners of my clippers. I'm using my left hand on this side.
So now you guys see that I've just used just my clippers for those of you guys that don't have anything else. So now I'm gonna go ahead and use my trimmers just Final touches guys, I'm just gonna add a little bit of talk, just to give it that nice clean finish. So that's the final result guys of just doing your taper from home. I really hope that you guys can execute these techniques that I showed you guys today. So you guys can be fresh, you know, chilling in your living room or wherever, you, wherever you're chilling, you know, where if you go to the park or whatever. I know in these times it can be tough to look good or to feel good about yourself. So just give it a try guys. And also let me know if you guys enjoyed this kind of like interactive um, tutorial, I guess you can say. Like just me telling you guys before the steps and then doing it, not kind of doing the voiceover like I do usually on my videos. But if you guys did enjoy this content, let me know down below. Hit a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel, guys. We're about to hit 2,000 subscribers. I appreciate all the support. Also, I did another low fade video that you guys can check out. You know, hit, hit that little tab that I'm going to put on top of the video. Hit that and just make sure that you guys, uh, if you guys don't, don't want to do a taper, you guys can do a low fade. And my next video will be a mid fade. So just stay tuned guys. Um, also, if you guys like this type of interactive video, let me know. Or if you guys want me to do the voiceover on the mid fade for next time, let me know guys. I appreciate all the support. Peace.